Everybody, everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious fried potatoes, sausage, peppers, and onions. This recipe right here, it's amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my fried potatoes, sausage, peppers, and onions before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're gonna need some nice fresh potatoes. So I have cut some Idaho potatoes and I've cut about seven potatoes, seven medium sized potatoes. And what I've done is this is how I like to cut mine. And you wanna try your best to cut them all the same size, that way they all cook at the same amount of time. You will need some veggies. So right here we have some gorgeous bell peppers. We have red bell pepper, green and also orange bell pepper. We're gonna just use the bell peppers for uh, flavor, but, but really to get that gorgeous color going throughout the dish. You're gonna need a nice sweet Vidalia onion and some sausage. Now, I don't want you to freak out if uh, you know, you're not the person that eats pork. Go ahead and find you some turkey sausage or some beef sausage that you can enjoy. I like to use this Eckridge Kielbasa and you'll need a couple of spices. A couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some paprika, some garlic and onion powder, parsley flakes, pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. So we're outside before the video. I wanted to take the dogs outside um, so they can get some fresh air before the video because you know once that video starts, I kind of tell them to sit down and be good boys, you know. There goes Polo, he's enjoying himself. And there's Prince, he's staying close to the house. And there they go. You can see my husband. He's with the dogs playing with them. They are really enjoying the weather. And you can also see the golfers. All of the golfers are out there enjoying the weather. It's beautiful outside. I love when we take a break during the videos, come outside and just sit down and relax for a little bit, you know? Here's Polo. Look at him. He's really enjoying his time. Polo, look at mommy, honey. Look. <laughs> And Prince, look at Prince, he's in my husband's hands. <laughs> he's so spoiled. <laughs> Such a spoiled boy. <laughs> That's Dakota, you see Dakota running and Polo chasing Dakota. <laughs> Go Polo. <laughs> he's fast. We're gonna get ready to head in and hear a sec here in a second. And then we'll get started on our video. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful out here? What is the weather where you all are today? It's actually like 85 degrees here and I am really loving the weather. I couldn't be more excited about this here recipe. It's so much fun, it's so easy, and it's packed with flavor. And what I love about this recipe is, listen here, you can have this for breakfast, have it for lunch, have it for brunch, and possibly for dinner. It's gonna fill you up. This is a stick to your ribs meal that, um, you know, it's gonna get you nice and full. Okay, and then you have your meat. You have your starch and you have your veggies all in one dish. Now, I have cut the potatoes as we spoke about. What we wanna do is take a look at the water. You can see that the water is really cloudy and murky. And the reason for that is because of the starch that naturally comes off of the potatoes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way over to the sink. When we make our way over to the sink, we're gonna keep rinsing those potatoes until that water runs nice and clear and you don't see the cloudiness anymore. And what that's gonna mean is we've rinsed off a lot of the unwanted starch that we don't want. Okay, everyone, so we're here at the sink, and what I want to do is I'm going to... It, look, look, look at the starch in the bottom of the bowl. I may have rinsed it out, but I'm going to do a number like this. Okay, now you can do this in a bowl. If I, I should have done it in a bowl so you can see 
how the water turns nice and clear, but in the end, I will set the potatoes in the water so you can see just how clear our water is. So getting back to, to the potato water, take a look and see how clear it is. Gorgeous. Okay, so now I have a pan here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the water and the clean potatoes into our pan over here. And we're gonna cook these. We're only gonna cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. We don't want to fully cook these, it's very important, because if you fully cook them in this water, you're gonna have some mushy fried potatoes. No one wants mushy fried potatoes. You want for your fried potatoes to be nice, beautiful, golden brown and crispy on the outside and soft like a pillow on the inside. We, I may not even cook them for 12 minutes. I might cook them for about six or seven minutes. I'll let you know, let's get these on the stove on a medium high heat. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. So now we have our potatoes boiling. I have used a little bit of salt to salt the water. Now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and take this time to chop up some of these gorgeous veggies. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't have to use the different colored bell peppers. Now, each bell pepper does give off a different flavor. Absolutely they do. And if you use the different color, they give you uh, a beautiful dish. You know, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a number like this. We want those peppers to be nice and big in the dish, like that, okay? So just a rough chop. If you wanted to slice yours, absolutely do it whatever way you would like to. If you wanted to slice your potatoes, you can. So see, I have nice big chunks here. That's what I'm looking for, okay? Just like this. We'll get started on the orange and the green pepper, just like so. Let's go ahead and cut into our other peppers. Same thing. Nice big pieces, beautiful colors. You know, I always like to say, I like to eat with my eyes. And there's so many people that says, what are you talking about? <laughs> when she's saying she likes to eat with her eyes, I just like for everything to be beautiful that I eat. I like to present any dish that I make beautiful. You know, I want, I want the colors to pop, whether that means I'm gonna use different colored bell peppers or, you know, just some parsley to make it gorgeous. You know, take your time to put some love into your dishes. You know, I, there's a lot of people that says, Gina, your dishes really look so pretty, but I try hard to do that. I mean, anyone can make a dish, but can you make it beautiful as well? Now, what we're gonna do next, now that we have our peppers, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna tackle this onion and we're gonna pray to God <laughs> that this onion does not make me cry. I don't wanna cry today, not today. Come on, onion. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to try to cut this onion quick. I got glasses on, it's, it's somewhat of a barrier, but the glasses have not always worked for me <laughs> in a situation like this where I didn't wanna cry. So we have our onions done. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. So now that we have the onions and peppers nice and cut up, we have our potatoes cooking, uh, let's go ahead and take this time to rinse off whatever sausage you're gonna use and get it sliced aside. If you want to cut your sausage into cubes, if you wanna do slices, if you want to cut it on an angle, here's how I like to do it. Okay, so we're gonna do a number like this. All right, got a piece of onion on there. Get off of there. <laughs> Just like this. This sausage is delicious. And like I said, you wanna use a chicken sausage, turkey or beef? Absolutely, and it'll still be delicious. You know, when I make these recipes, I want you all to have an open mind because I see that a lot of people says, oh, nope, Gina, you're using pork in it. I'm not gonna try it. You can try it because you can always use something different other than the pork and you can enjoy it as well. So now that we have our sausages nice and cut up, I'm gonna be patient and wait for our potatoes to cook halfway. <laughs> then when I come back, I'll show you what to do next. So our potatoes have cooked for about eight minutes. They're ready to come out of the pan. But what I wanna do really quickly, let's go ahead and get our sausage here into this pan. And I have a little bit of oil. If you don't hear that sizzle, don't put any more in. You need that sizzle. You want that sizzle so you can get a beautiful golden brown sear 
onto both sides of the sausage, just like so. Now, some of you, you might just wanna throw everything in the same pot when your potatoes are almost done. Let me know if you would be that person. Because <laughs> I, know, I know some of you would do that. But what I like to do is I want for my sausage to touch the pan, get nice and golden brown. If you just put the sausage in with your fried potatoes, they're not gonna get that sear that we're looking for. Once we get both of these sides, nice, beautiful, and golden brown, I'll tell you what you should do with your bell peppers and onions. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and take our potatoes that cook for about eight minutes or so, and we are draining them. Now, we're not gonna rinse them with cold water. We want them to remain nice and cool, but what we do wanna do is drain them very well because once this water from the potatoes hits that oil, you might have some splattering. So we're over at my large frying pan, and you can see how much vegetable oil I do have in the pan. Not a lot, but enough to fry these potatoes. Okay, let's get them in. Just like so. We want them to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown on both sides. So while our potatoes start to fry up, let's take this time to turn over some of our sausages. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. And see, look at that. I love that caramelization that you're gonna get. And be patient. You know, we have all the time in the world. Be patient. Okay, you wanna get that caramelization. If you turn it over once, it doesn't have it. You can always flip it back. No problems there. Okay, look at this right here. That's what you're wanting on both sides. That's what I'm aiming for. So the ones towards the outside that's not close to the burner, I'm gonna kind of mix everything around just like so, so we can achieve that. Okay, everyone, so we're starting to get some beautiful golden brown color onto our potatoes, and they finally started to get nice and soft. So what I'm gonna do is I like to wait until my potatoes start to get nice and golden brown before I season them. Because I find when you season them too early with the salt, the salt will draw out water and you will have mushy potatoes. So put the salt in, you know, once they start to get a little golden brown. That's parsley and uh, garlic powder. We're gonna go in with this beautiful paprika. Onion powder for sure. Don't be afraid to season. You need the season in order for your food to taste delicious. And taste your food. Always taste it so you know what you're feeding to your loved ones. We're gonna go in with some salt, but not too much. Just a little bit will do the trick. And then I'm gonna give it a nice shake. Just like so, okay? And we're gonna continue to let these get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And once they have a bit darker color, then we'll take these, we'll incorporate them until they get just nice and cooked up. We're not going to cook them too much because if we cook them too much, they'll lose that vibrant color. And we'll, we want them to stay nice, beautiful, and vibrant, so we're not going to cook them long. So now our potatoes have really started to get that gorgeous golden brown color that we all love. Now's the time. Go on with your veggies. You don't want onions? Don't use onions. <laughs> it's that simple. Okay, just like this, gorgeous. And like I said, don't cook the daylights out of the veggies because they do lose color. I know I can't stress it enough and I already said that, but they lose its vibrance if you cook them too long and you want them to still have somewhat of a nice bite. Now look what you get when you use the different color peppers. You get a beautiful dish. Now at the last minute, at the very last minute, we'll take our gorgeous sausage and we'll combine it with this. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. In we go with our sausages, just like so. Make sure you drain them on a paper towel. You don't wanna digest the oil that comes from, you know, the sausages. You don't need that extra oil, all right? Just like so. Let's say our prayer. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style. Fried potatoes, sausage, bell peppers, and onions. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. 
Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again. I'm going to give you a bite. I'm going to give you a bite. I'm going to give you a mouthful. Oh, and the potatoes. They're crispy on the outside, soft and fluffy. Oh, <laughs> they're soft and fluffy on the inside. Look at that baby right there. Go on, throw an onion on. <laughs> Take a big bite. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. let's see. One more bite. I know. I know, I know. Here you go. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.